It was my first experience with mescaline, which is a psychoactive drug that's found in the peyote cactus and in many other cacti. And I had an experience with it, gosh, where that 45, 50 years ago. I saw colors that uh, uh, I, I was totally uh, unfamiliar with. A flower it had a color that I couldn't even give a name to. I, I had to recall memories of childhood. I was seeing with, with articulate clarity. And then I thought, why would 400 milligrams of a white crystal have all of this in it? What it's doing is allowing me to communicate with parts of me that I had not communicated with for a long time. You have a person who's observing everything, and remembers everything, and if he pays attention to everything he saw, he'd be at life's risk to go across a crosswalk, crossing a street. So he learned to turn that off, turn that off, turn that Watch for the green light, watch where the first step foot goes down there, glance right and left, there's no car coming, and you get across the street safely. You have to ignore 99% of what's around you. My structural designs were in the area of taking the simple little molecule. What is it in this molecule that lets it fit into the receptor site that causes the psychedelic action? I mean, we have receptors for psychedelic drugs. We do not have natural psychedelic drugs inside of us. Why do we have the receptors and not the drugs? Well, perhaps at one time we had the drugs. As part of a metabolic process, we generated the drugs that made the psychedelic state a, a, a natural state. And these people then would, uh, I can see the potential of, of looking at, a, at, a, at the tooth of a saber-toothed tiger and saying, oh, look at the pretty designs on this tooth and as a consequence of dropping your defenses against an enemy, be removed from the gene pool. So perhaps those people who did turn on because of endogenous psychedelics were removed from the gene pool, and therefore they're no longer there. But the receptors are still there, because it was a drug that was generated that was the hazard to survival. And so that is maybe why some of these plants with their psychedelic components turn you on, because the receptors are intact from generations. But the natural psychedelic Metabolite in the body no longer exists.